good morning, good afternoon, happy whatever day you're watching this on. For me, it's a Saturday. Um, <laughs> it's about 12.30 in the afternoon. Getting a very late start today. I slept in, I was very tired. Um, so I figured today we'd have a little fun and mess around with DoorDash. Um, I currently have a 91% acceptance rate. I have done over 4,000 deliveries. Um, so I feel like today what I'm gonna try to do with DoorDash only is try to only accept orders that will make me $8 or more. Um, and again, it's gonna average out. So like if I do a $10 order, I'll take a $6 order after that. If you know, it can cover, if the $10 order can cover the $2, I would be missing from the $6 order. So we're gonna see. In my area, you can get your acceptance rate uh, as long as it's above 70%, you can stay as a top dasher. So I'm not gonna let my acceptance rate go under that because I need that top dasher status. But besides that, let's just see what happens. Actually, before I forget again, I'm gonna stop by the Dollar Tree and get some peppermints. Um, this is one of my top dasher secrets. I have little thank you stickers and uh, I give out some kind of candy usually when I drop off an order and so I figure that would be a good idea to do today because these people if it's an $8 order chances are the person is tipping a good amount so we want to make sure to give them a little something in return Okay, so I'm at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna count the cash tips that I have to see how much I can spend. <laughs> so we got a five, another five, and then a whole lot of ones. I don't know about you, but I like to check the serial numbers on my money before I spend it, just because some of them, some people like to collect bills that have certain um, serial numbers on them. So I just like to check mine to see if I got any cool ones. So like this one has 555, five, five. this one has 222. Two, two. If you can find ones that have like a repeating sequence or um, that are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or just like are all the same number, um, then those can be worth a lot of money. But obviously they're hard to find because people like to collect them. So, okay. We got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. $22. Let's go have some fun. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy that checked me out at the Dollar Tree because I thought he was scanning the person's behind me stuff with mine. And no, it was my stuff. I forgot. Uh, but let's talk about what I got. I got a bunch of different mints. I got these peppermint puffs. These are my favorites. I wish they sold them in bigger bags, but they don't, so. I got just hard peppermints. I got peppermint mints. These are basically knockoff life savers. Um, yeah. I got strawberry hard candy, because I love these too. <laughs> and I got Spearmint mints. So these should last me a little while. Um, I'm gonna probably, it should last me like a week or so, <laughs> hopefully. Um, also got this Perform X. It's like ripoff Propel water, um, but it's cheaper and it is important to stay hydrated when you're dashing. I also got this mango coconut water I'm gonna try. It has a ton of sugar in it though, so I don't know, we'll see. If I like it, it might be too sweet for me. And then my thank you stickers are oops, somewhere 
down here. Oh, if I could find them. You can tell I haven't been using them because <laughs> they're a little heat up. I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to order more soon. I get these off of Amazon um, and they're just simple little black and silver stickers that say thank you. I can link them down below. Um, I might actually get a different kind next time. I don't remember how much these were. I think they were like 10 bucks for like a pack of 500 or something. So like I've had these for a while um, and I don't do this for every delivery. I don't do this for pizza deliveries. I don't usually do this for drink orders. It depends. If there's sugar in the drink, I will add a mint. If there's no sugar in the order and it looks like it's like a healthy order, you know, like someone who's trying to watch their weight or whatever, I don't add any of the mints to it, but if they have sugar in the order, I figure they won't mind having just a little bit more. Don't forget, anything you buy for door dashing, uh, you can write off in your taxes. So yes, I will be saving this receipt and <laughs> writing off all of my candy purchases for my taxes. Forgot to mention, so the mints I've noticed don't really get me any extra tips, but they do tend to make my customer rating higher. Um, so I'm interested to see <laughs> what happens today because I've been taking just every single order, even the no tippers. So I'm interested to see what happens when I give them to the tippers to see if the tippers give me five stars or not. <laughs> Another tip I forgot to mention, if you have an iPhone, make sure you go into the app store like almost daily <laughs> and make sure your Dasher app is up to date because I will never forget the time I went to contact Dasher support about something and they were like, well, you don't have the latest update of the app, so no, we're not going to help you. <laughs> and so ever since then, I've been like so paranoid that I would have something go wrong in the app again and then Dash support would just be like, no, you don't have the latest update, so it's your fault. <laughs> So yeah, I checked it today and sure enough, there is an update. And so I have the latest version of the Dasher app right now. And so I am driving to where I think the most tip orders will be today. We're gonna see. Okay, so we got our first order of the day. I like to tie the tops together because it uh, lets the person know you didn't like mess with their food and it's better for when you're driving around to make sure that not moving around all over the place. Um, so this order has two items, so I'm going to go ahead and put two mints with it because I think it's for two people. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a strawberry and a peppermint just for fun. And I'm gonna take one of my thank you stickers and just kind of attach them to the bottom. Kind of like this. And then I'm just gonna stick this on the order and drop it off. So that was a good drop off. That was just a leave at the door. I really like leave at the door orders. Um, I don't really have social anxiety, but I am a woman door dashing and Sometimes the kind of people who like to DoorDash are, uh, who like to use DoorDash are very interesting. Um, so last night was a really good night. I got a lot of nice people who gave a lot of extra tips. Um, <laughs> this one guy, I don't know what happened. Uh, but when I showed up, he was like, thank you so much for following directions. And like, it was to his workplace. Um, and it's not that hard to find. It's a place I deliver to a lot. And so <laughs> I want to know what Dasher gave him a hard time about delivering to his office building. The only thing about it that's kind of weird is that it's kind of hidden. And so like, you have to go down this long road that's in like this industrial park. 
and uh, it kind of looks like you're going nowhere until you get to the parking lot, uh, but you just, you really have to trust the GPS on that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wonder if somebody tried to steal his order because he said like in the customer notes, you know, be sure to follow the address, you know, it might try to take you to the trailer park because there is a trailer park close to there, but like not close enough. I don't know. I don't know. It was really weird. But yeah, so he gave me uh, an extra tip because I got there so quickly and easily. Um, yeah. Oh, but the weird part about it was uh, he said, hold on, wait here. I want to give you the extra tip. You know, let me make sure that you got it. And I've never had someone try to add an extra tip in front of me before, like at the drop off. Um, so I didn't get any notifications from DoorDash or anything that he added on the extra tip. It was a stacked order. And so I had another order in the car waiting when he added the extra tip. And so I didn't see the full tip until after I had dropped off the other order and all of them were complete and so it was kind of an awkward encounter because he was like did you get it and i was just like mm -hmm, yep and like i have to go i'm not telling him this but in my head i'm just like you know i got tacos in the car i can't have this conversation right now <laughs> um but yeah so just you know if a customer adds a tip while you're doing a stacked order you won't see the final tip until both orders are complete <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I have a drink carrier, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the mints <laughs> into the drink carrier as well as the thank you sticker. Ew, what got on this one? Okay. So what I usually do with drink carriers is I drive with them in my lap because I've dropped so many drinks, it's not even funny, so... Just gonna go put the thank you sticker at the bottom and then the mints on top you can kind of see it and then i'm gonna go okay so that one was a little tricky for the drop off it was to a townhouse complex i've never been to before and it's hidden so i drove right past the entrance the first time so i had to find it but i did so it's all good this one is a super long order, but I'm not really caring about miles today. All I'm caring about is that over $8 per order. So it's good old Chick-fil-A. We're gonna go for a little road trip to the other side of the mountains. And hopefully I can get some good shots for you guys for the lake and everything. Um, yeah, so let's go pick it up. Okay, so I'm taking a little pit stop at the lake, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lake, and then I'm probably going to stop at the waterfall, and then I'm going to get back to dashing. <laughs> so this is the lake. Not sure how well you can see the mountains in the background, but they do still have some snow on the top of them. The lake has completely uh, thawed though. The last time I was here, it was all frozen. Okay, I technically was not supposed to stop next to the waterfall and take that uh, few seconds of footage of it, but it's just so pretty. Um, it is artificial, it is all man-made. They have like huge water pipes through the mountains that make it, but it's still nice, you know? Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that little detour that we took. And so the time is about 3.30, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to dashing. <laughs> With my last dash, I made about 50 bucks in two hours, so not bad. We're going to see what we can do this time, though. I think my acceptance rate did go down like five points, so let's see. Hopefully it doesn't get down to 70 by the end of this, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna go pick up another Chick-fil-A order. This one is perfect. It is exactly $8. I did deny like, I think three orders. I forgot to take a picture of the first two. I think one was to Wingstop and like the other one was to McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or something like that. They were just uh, low pay orders. It's weird declining offers that I would usually take because usually if an order is at least 
five dollars and like three miles if if it's five dollars and under five miles I usually take it just because I'm like mm, close enough you know five miles I don't really care that's not a lot um, so I'm definitely declining a lot more than I usually do well usually I've just been accepting everything so it's a weird it's weird <laughs> to uh, decline this mini for me Okay, so for this one, it has two drinks, but it has a bunch of food, so I don't have no idea how much or how many mints to give them, so I'm giving them four. Um, two of the strawberry, one of the spearmint, and one of the peppermint. Hopefully they like them. Uh, I currently live in Utah, in case you're wondering. I'm up in the northern part, closer to Idaho. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm currently located. <laughs> people here are some of the meanest I have ever dealt with and it's so strange um, because li I've lived a lot of places and the people here are very peculiar I guess is a good word for this. <laughs> um, it is Mormon country so if you're familiar with that at all I am surrounded by Mormons I came out here because my sister lived out here <laughs> and she is not Mormon. None of us are Mormon, but it is a very fascinating uh, group of people in my opinion. <laughs> so Utah is the only place I've ever gotten cursed out. Uh, one of them was a customer where I messed up his order. I was dropping off two orders. It was late at night, it was dark. I accidentally got the orders confused and dropped off the wrong one. They were from the same restaurant. Um, it was a really nice Italian place, but I guess he was just very upset that he did not get the correct order. He tried calling me multiple times. He left voice messages saying how I better come back and fix this right now and all other sorts of nonsense. Um, so I actually contacted Dasher support for him and was like, I don't feel comfortable going back. And they're like, yeah, no, don't go back. Uh, <laughs> because he was sending text messages. He was just, whoo, I hope he got a refund because if not, I don't think he is ever using DoorDash again. <laughs> the other one was a lady that cursed me out because I took a parking space. Um, I was picking up an order and I guess she just really didn't like that I took that spot, that I took that parking spot um, at the time. Uh, I had my old license plates from a different state and so she cursed me out and said it was because I was from that state uh, that I was the way I was. So, yeah. Something else I like to do that I forgot to mention is I like to co color coordinate the mints to the bag. So if it's Chick-fil-A, I usually give them a peppermint because the white and red matches the white and red bags. And if it's Subway, sorry, my camera just cut off. If it's Subway, I usually give the green and white mints because the green matches the green on the bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop this one off. Something else I'm noticing about the tippers is that they give much better instructions than the no tippers. I forgot to say earlier, there was a car accident outside the Chick-fil-A. It, it was just a little fender bender. It wasn't anything serious. It looked like a teenage girl had rear-ended a uh, lady and she did not look happy about it. <laughs> Didn't look like there was that much damage to the cars, but yeah, poor girl. <laughs> Cause she's not having a very good day. Um, I do see a lot of accidents out here. I don't know if it's because of the way people drive out here or because of the way the roads are set up, but I've definitely seen my fair share of accidents door dashing. Um, the scariest one was when I was almost in one. I was in a left turn lane, so I was at a red light, and it was uh, like an eight lane road, and so half the lanes were going one way, the other half were going another way. There was no median or anything, and there was like this uh, turn lane for the traffic that was coming the other direction, and this car came hurling 
down one of those lanes from the opposite direction as me and it hit a car um, that was like two behind me at the red light so it, I saw that it was coming in way too fast and that it wasn't gonna stop um, and so if it had hit me it would have hit like right on my side like right through uh, the driver's side but luckily it hit an SUV not luckily it's not good but it happened but it was like an older sedan like from the 80s um, and so it hit an SUV like in the back so it didn't cause too much damage luckily everybody was okay <laughs> um, but yeah so that was the scariest accident I've seen because I was almost in that one and I was doing an order at the time and I was like I'm just trying to get this person their nachos like I just I just want to make it there safely <laughs> There are definitely some wild drivers around here though. Um, <laughs> and most of the time it's because they wanna make a left-hand turn and there's just no good way to make a left-hand turn out here. So what I do is I just make like a right and then a U-turn when I go left usually, just because trying to make a left out here is, it's gonna take a long time or it's just not gonna happen. Okay, so this Taco Bell order is huge it has four drinks and it's two bags of food so um <laughs> i do use all four cup holders in my car when i have four drinks like this because it is difficult to drive around with four large drinks in my lap <laughs> um now i'm going to pick up this second order hopefully it doesn't have any drinks but if it does i do have extra um cup holders in my trunk. I have this little hard plastic like cup holder thing that I use sometimes if I have that many drinks. Uh, I can carry like up to 10 drinks at a time if I have to. I've never had to use that many at once, you know, fingers crossed, but I feel like I've finally gotten to a place where I feel comfortable with all the drink orders and it has taken a long time for me to get here. <laughs> Another thing that's really common out here is um, it, there's a large Hispanic community, which is great. I love the tacos, um, but there are a lot of people out here who speak Spanish, and I wish I remembered more of it. I took six years of Spanish in high school, but most of it is gone. <laughs> um, there's only been one time where I used Spanish when I was dashing and it wasn't even for a customer it was for this guy who was trying to order a pizza and the cashier was not being very nice and she kept asking him what is your name and he just did not understand what she was saying um, so I stepped in and was the translator for a minute um, because I at least remember how to say you know what is your name um, but yeah, so that's the other thing out here that has not been in certain places that I have lived. And so, like I said, very unique, unique place, very beautiful place. Um, unlike any other place <laughs> that I have lived before. Okay, so I just picked up this two for order. Um, I did decline another one that I forgot to take a screenshot of, so I declined two before I got this one. My acceptance rate is already down to 80%, um, so I might have to stop after this dash, just because I am not going below 70% for my acceptance rate. Um, it's kind of wild to me how many low or no tip orders there are in my area lately. Um, I know times are hard, okay? Like, I get it, all right? Inflation is very real. <laughs> um, everything is going up. The cost of homes are going up. The cost of insurance is going up. You know, just everything is more expensive. So I get how, or I get why people just don't want to tip uh, their DoorDash drivers anymore but at the end of the day I, the way I see it is I am providing a service like I still need money to take care of my car and my kids and everything else so I need money um, I cannot just take no tip 
orders all day every day and so I'm not sure what DoorDash is gonna do um, I think lately what I've heard is that they're just hiring a bunch of new dashers and I don't like that because I feel like they're just trying to trick people basically into taking low or no tip orders um, and I don't feel like that's gonna fix the problem because people are smart um, I feel like even if they get a bunch of new dashers they're not gonna stick around very long um, but I guess DoorDash just relies on a constant intake of new dashers maybe I don't know what I would like to see DoorDash do um, is actually pay its dashers more money if they take no tip orders like I don't know how they would do it I don't I don't know programming like I don't know how the app works um, but I feel like what would be ideal is the more deliveries you've done the higher pay you can make so you know like the door dashers who have done over a thousand deliveries I feel like should be paid more than the dashers that are brand new you know haven't even done a hundred deliveries yet but I don't know how that would work I don't know if that could even work I don't know if the app could even track something like that and then again I feel like you would also need to have good ratings and keep your ratings up if you wanted to keep being paid well um, and you know maybe they only pay you extra if you take the no tip orders which I don't know if that's what they are trying to do uh, with the earn by time feature because I've noticed with that sometimes I do make on average about 20 an hour maybe um, but when it's dead you know sometimes I'm not even making like 12 an hour when I do earn by time because it's just back to back no tip orders so yeah if there was a way DoorDash could just cut that out where they stop giving the people who are doing earn by time all the no tip orders that would be great or if they did you know make earn by time pay you more <laughs> uh, that would be great because $12 per hour is not enough in today's economy it's just not like that that's a joke <laughs> in today's economy this stuff is way too sweet <laughs> oh it tastes like diabetes or again i don't know how doordash would do this and they probably wouldn't do this because i feel like it would cost them too much money but you know while you are dashing you get $12 an hour while you are on the clock dashing, you know, accepting or declining orders. Like, even if you're not doing an order, you still get paid that $12 an order base pay. Um, that'd be great. Again, I don't think DoorDash is going to do that because I feel like people would take advantage of it in some way um, or they would lose a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know. The CEO of DoorDash is making millions a year, though, so I feel like it'd be fine it'd be fine <laughs> but I don't know I don't know um, again I don't know how the app works and I just want to know where all the extra money goes that people are paying for their orders because it's definitely not going to the dasher all right you know maybe if they just gave more of that money to the dasher and up the base pay uh, maybe that would fix it you know maybe if they paid more than two dollars per order to the dasher that would help too you know i heard from some of the og door dashers that doordash originally had a base pay of like five dollars per order and i'm like let's bring that back that would be amazing why <laughs> why is the base pay going down i feel like it should be going up i feel like the base pay should be going up to match inflation <laughs> But again, I don't make the rules, you know, I don't, I don't know why they decided to cut the base pay. Um, I do know for Grubhub, the base pay is about 3 to $4 an hour, and that doesn't sound like it a lot, but I've noticed, because I do drive for both Grubhub and DoorDash, um, just Grubhub orders add up a lot faster usually the NORDASH orders so yeah I don't know 
If somebody could just please explain to me why <laughs> DoorDash has such a low base pay, that'd be great. Okay, I completely forgot to take screenshots that time, but I declined two orders and now I'm doing a Papa John's order. Um, that's like $13, so that's good. My acceptance rate, I think, is now down to 78%. Wondering how long it's gonna take to get it back up to 90. Hopefully not that long. Probably like 100 orders, it's fine. Okay, so I picked up this pizza order. I'm going to drop it off. The only other solution I could think of as far as the whole dashers making enough <laughs> would be if DoorDash just allowed DoorDashers to be independent contractors and decline as many orders as they wanted and it did not affect their uh, dashing status. <laughs> I feel like acceptance rate should just be gotten rid of altogether. Um, just because it's like, you know, there's a reason people want money. It's not just because somebody is being greedy. It's because we also, like dashers as a whole, are people and have lives that they need to pay for. And so, I mean, <laughs> ideally, what would happen is that DoorDashers would just get to be 1099 employees and decide what orders they wanted to take and what orders they didn't want to take. Or DoorDash could change and just hire its employees as W-2 employees and pay them a decent wage um, and give them benefits. Because the way it stands right now is DoorDash is trying to basically be like a W-2, a, a, a W-2, a W-2 company, um, but it's not compensating its employees well enough. But like, I don't know. I don't know what DoorDash is thinking. I. I I don't get it. I'm sure there's a Zex or somewhere that have all the numbers and it makes sense to them. Okay, so it is about six o'clock. I have already made a hundred for the day, so definitely a lot um, easier to make money faster by doing this method. My acceptance rate went from 91% to 78%. Um, so don't play around with this unless you are willing to lose your top dasher status or you just don't care about your acceptance rate. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go back to earn by time and try to make a little bit more money before I go home today. <laughs> Um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I hope you have a beautiful day, night, whatever. Okay, bye.